Sound check. Hi everyone, can you hear me? I think we have got it back up and rolling. If you can hear me, put your comments in there, yes or no. Let us know if we're back. Hi everyone, sorry for the delay. We'll get started right back up here in just a minute. Are we good? I think we are, but... <clears throat> gotta love a live performance. Everything was good and then the sound just evaporated. And you would so text in that you can hear. Yes or no. <laughs> Let us know. Are they saying anything? Um, just a couple there. Let's see. Let me try this one. So will this be a continuation all in one video uh -huh. for people? Uh, probably not. So if people stayed on, are they still on? They could be. Okay. So hopefully you stayed on, you didn't give up on us, and so I'm waiting for him to give me the okay to get going. He's still over there working on some more stuff. Okay. Are we ready? Yep. Stay on? Okay, so we're just going to try to pick right up where we left off, and um, hopefully you're still with us and uh, didn't get bumped off with that. Uh, we don't know what happened, but the sound was gone, so um, we had to do our it's magic crazy. over there to reconnect on there. All right, let's look down here at the um, table, and this is the Love of Country quilt, so we'll just continue on with our teaching on it. I wanted you to see this block, just how beautiful it is. We're going to be looking at the um, options and how to create all of these different triangle units. And I wanted you to see the colors. We've got the blue and black check, the green flag and the red flag, the tone on tone, some of the eagle prints. See, this one in here is fussy cut, but these aren't. These are just wherever uh, the fabric laid when we, we did the different cutting. And this one is the Love of Country kit. So take advantage of it. Now, I also wanted to point out two things on this one here, and that is just how beautiful the checks are for the back of a quilt, especially if you're new to machine quilting, because this is very forgiving and it won't show um, any mistakes that you have. Now, in our Quilt Club week, which we're doing the last week of September, we do it every year in the fall, the, uh, in the one last year, 2022, we showed you how to put this in and then you can write on it and you oh. have your border for your quilt. Okay, we should have better sound here in just a second. Okay. Let's go back to this block right here and let's look at it and let's look at how to trim the options to make it. So let's look at the quilt. Um, let's wait to see if they... So he says, wait just one more minute. So I'll just kind of talk to make sure that you guys can hear me okay. Uh, and we're, we're going to show some of the options here in just a minute of how you just take a basic square just like this and you trim it up with the square in a square tool. And that's going to give you all of your different triangle units that you need to make almost every block there is out there. So option one, square and a square. Option three, flying geese. Option four, half square triangles. That's how we, we make our triangle units and put every quilt together. So let's look at this pattern down here on our table. This one is kind of like a revolving star. You're gonna see a patriotic revolving star here in just a minute. But here you have just half square triangles right here. Here you have a flying goose, another flying goose, a third flying goose, and that's all there is to it. Three flying geese, plain square, plain squares, half square triangles, that's it. So let's look over here and let's look at how we're gonna trim these up. So everything just starts out like this with a square in the middle and strips on the side. And we call that the basic square. And I love my little uh, mini uh, ruler and cause it's so convenient to work with. And I'm just gonna push that 90 on it right into the corner of this fabric square. I'm gonna line the lines up and I'm gonna trim and it's gonna leave my perfect fourth of an inch seam allowance. 
So there's my perfect fourth of an inch, just like that. And I'll turn it, and I'll keep repeating and doing all four corners and there is my option one just a, a square in a square we use that so many different places you can even use it in the middle here if you want if you didn't want just a plain square now when we make our flying geese which is option three we leave that fourth of an inch on two opposite sides just like we did here so i'm going to go ahead and trim the opposite side the same way putting the 90 in there. And then on the other two sides, see how we trim sharp, nice and sharp. We don't want that fourth of an inch. So we're gonna put the 90 in there and then I'm just gonna slide it or step it over one, two. And I want the tip of the line to go right into the tip of that corner square. I wanna look where I've already cut, make sure I'm keeping my block as true and square as possible and see how that's a sharp trim there's not the fourth of an inch and that's because we're going to cut it in half and get our two flying geese we have to create a seam allowance going through the middle where we didn't have one and we have to move those points so there's my 90 step it over two we call it the texas two step because you're just stepping over two then where you've trimmed right up sharp and to the point you're just going to Cut right through there and there's your two perfect flying geese just like that so when I come in and sew a fourth and a fourth there's my point right there exactly where it needs to be so of course stars lots of stars look how easy they are with the option three flying geese and if you want all flying geese going together kind of traditional and then of course we had three flying geese here so those are just flipped like that, like you see. Well, nope, those are all going down. I had it. But of course, your color combos are different to make the chevrons that kind of shoot out. And I love how those look. And that's just by changing up your colors and doing something a little bit different. Then to make half square triangles, which you're going to have half square triangles here in the corners, we're just going to do that Texas two step like we did here. We're going to do it on all four because we're cutting through all four corners to get our half square triangles. So there you can see how those would go in there. And with these, um, look how you can just change that color up to make all three of those the same. And you get such a different look than this one here with all of it being one color, being the red. So just so much you can do on this one block just by switching the colors up. So that's options one, three, and four, kind of the main ones. Everything just starts out with a square in the middle, strips on the side, and this is the uh, book one, the reference book, one that we recommend that um, you get going with. This is the original ruler, and it comes with what we call a beginner book, so it's a great place to start, too. And then we have other books and tools, but those are, are kind of the, the main ones and the highlight and what I wanted to show you um, today. So let's look at some more quilts. So let's look at these two up here. We kind of um, got sidetracked um, with our uh, sound when we were talking about this one, but I think we finished on it. And then this one here is the pineapple quilt. Now the pineapple quilt uses the red and the blue of the eagle vine. It uses the red and the blue of the flag tone on tone, and you get this uh, what we call dirt flag here. So this is a great way to get this one on sale. And this one comes in three different sizes. It comes um, in um, like a lap size, and then it comes, I think, in a queen and a king. So when you look at your kit, let's get our camera to look and see what's in our kit. Of course, if you wanted a lot of that dark, I mean, I'm sorry, a lot of the flag, the dirt flag, here's a big piece that you can get a dis discount here when you order your kits. And so, You've got some of that coveted red and black check in there, some of the blue check, and then the other patriotic pieces. So a great way to get some on sale, even if you did not want to make the pineapple. There's a lot of red check in that one. A lot of red check, yeah, and that's going to be. Whoa. Now, we'll do the red check again sometime, but it's not on the immediate lineup, which means it would be at least a year before we would get any more of the of the red and black. We have the red and dirt and the red and tan. Now this one is a great one. 
It is called the Eagle Mountain, and it just uses three colors. So here we have the tan, tattered and torn. So think about this kit and getting it uh, at our discount. You can order the Red Eagle or the Blue Eagle. You can make it just like this, or you can use these fabrics in another quilt, and it would be beautiful if this one was not the one that, that interested you. But option four, half square triangles, and see how we have three of these together? We have a new way of doing these that we call the firefly, and so it makes putting multiple half square triangles together really super and easy. And there's a video that we did on that, um, probably first part of April, so about a month or so ago. So if you wanted to go in and watch the firefly in detail, we'll be teaching I think the firefly. Fifteenth of April, sixteenth or so. Fifteenth or sixteenth of April. Now all of this summer, we're going to be teaching firefly from the Firefly book, and we're also going to be teaching at Quilt Club Week. Now this is the brand new Firefly book, and you can get it on sale to the end of May. So at the end of May, it's going to go to the regular price, um, so get it now while you can. And I just want to, since it's been out a couple of weeks, you know, we already get reviews on it. And this one says, enjoy your webinars and the easy method of the square and a square. Beautiful quilts with the new Firefly. And then this one said, great show, a treasure for us quilters. So Feathered Star Quilt is now possible. Thanks for the options. So Feathered Star has a lot of half square triangles going together in a row. So the Firefly method is just exquisite and perfect for it. One lady texted in and she said, why do you call it the Firefly? Well, this is magical. And a Firefly is just kind of magical when you see it. So... To me, the, the name Firefly went, went together perfectly with it. This one um, says, um, Jody, this is simply amazing to have developed yet another new technique. So option 44 is the Firefly. That means there's 44 options. That means there's 44 different triangle units that you can get all with this one tool with speed and accuracy. So she says, to have developed yet another new technique the Firefly after all of these years, because we've been doing square and square almost 40 years now. Using your original square and square ruler is just outstanding. I'm in awe of what you have accomplished and your contribution to the quilt world. Thank you so much. Jody, you rock. Love the Firefly technique. This will save us so much time. Making countless half square triangles will no longer be so daunting. Now, the other thing about putting half square triangles together in a row is, is that no matter what method you've used to make them, you may have some great half square triangles. But when you start sewing them together in a row, they will turn on you, meaning that the color will get on the wrong side because you can actually turn it and get four different placements because there's four different sides and get that color. Um, you have three opportunities to mess it up. But with the Firefly method, at the very beginning, you s set the stage as to where those colors will be, and there will be no turning. There is absolutely no way for those colors to turn when you start getting them put together. And this one was just a few days ago. It says, love this new technique. Can't wait to get my book. I just love the quilts that are in it, and I can't wait to make. And the other one says, the new option is like magic. Whoa. Magic. Fireflies, they're they're great. They they're they're just really cool and awesome to work with. What was the quote you had before this one? The, was it, <clears throat> um, it was the pineapple. The pineapple. Mm -hmm. The pineapple was the one I had up here before this one. This one's Eagle Mountain. Let's look at the fabrics that are in it because even if you're not interested in that pattern and making it, I want you to see the fabrics that are in it because you can get them on sale when you purchase this kit. And the so we have the um, let's yeah we have the blue and black check, which this one's almost all gone. In fact, I really don't think the blue and black check is going to last all month. So if you're interested in the blue and black check, jump in there. Look at that big old piece of fabric. You're going to get some of the the tan uh, dirt. I'm sorry, the tan tone on tone. The dirt is a little bit darker. So this is a way that you can get a big hunk of this background um, on sale. And then you've got your eagle vine in there that you can use. All right, so that's the eagle mountain. And you can order it in blue or in red. Uh, the one that was next to the pineapple. 
Um, the one that was over there. Um, love of Country. Oh, the Love of Country. With the uh, applique and all the different blocks was um, Love of Country. Does that help? I think so. Okay, now this one is the revolving star. And is that just a quilt top only? Um, the Love of Country? No, the Love of Country was quilted and I had it down here on the table and I showed that one block. It had um, the applique and stuff on it. What did I do with it? Yeah, she said this one was... Um, so it must have, well, I wonder if it was a rolling star. That's the one that we were talking about when the video, the sound left. Oh. So I was talking about this one at the end, right before the sound went away and before we came back. And this is Rolling Star. Yeah, not okay. that one. I don't think. Not well, that one? I don't know. <laughs> okay, well, I'll take a minute and we'll go over. So the one I just showed is Rolling Star. This one here is the um, Eagle Mountain, and you can order it in the red or blue. So we'll just do a little quick summary here. We have... Um, Pineapple. We have this one that's the pineapple. Okay, I think she got it. Okay, and we have this one that's the snowball. And this one that's the love of country. Okay, cool. Okay. All right. So this one we do not have a kit in, but you're going to need three yards of all of the different fabrics in there anyway. So we have the red eagle and then we have the black flag. Lots of times people are like, oh, black flag. But think about the police and uh, back the blue, all of those different ones that this black flag tone on tone would just be really, really wonderful for to make some of those quilts. Now the block is put on point. This one is in book one. It's called Revolving Star or it could, I think a traditional name for it is Carpenter's Wheel. And once again, we've used our flying geese. We've used the option one. We've used some half square triangles. This is very much similar to the one that I had down here on the table where we kind of uh, directed it out. And um, of course, we don't have the red and black check, so I can't kit it unless we substituted the border um, on it, which you could do with any um, of the different fabrics on there would make it really, really pretty. So that is that one. So this one's just three, basically just three colors without that red and black check. And this one is called Thomas's Log Cabin. So this one is a great kit to get because you're gonna get a variety of these different fabrics. Now, I don't have any kits setting on the shelf, so that means no red and black check. So we'll substitute the red and dirt in this particular spot here where the red and black is. Or you can tell me what you want substituted for it. Just put it in the comment section when you order or send us an email. So um, our sale will stay on to the end of June, and then, but some of these fabrics I really do expect to sell out. The blue and black check is very limited. The uh, green on green check is very limited. Um, those particular ones, if you're interested in, don't miss the opportunity some to of the kits get them. Yeah, the, the kits that are already made and on the shelf will have those, but... Okay, so let's look at just some uh, checks because um, lots of times people just don't know what to do um, with the checks. So this is Village Square, and this is the option one right here, and then just two rectangles, which we call a split rail. And then big, wide sashings really helps you cover a lot of territory very quickly uh, in the design. And this one here, we just switched up the colors just a little bit. So I want you to look how here where we've used the option ones, we had the blue on all four sides. But here where we've used the option ones, we did red on one side and the light on the outside. So look how this really changes. This is the same block 
all we did was just change up colors a little bit and you really get such a different look and so you could do those with any of the checks and we do have the village square kits on sale they're going to come in blue unless you specify that you want a different color and we can basically do them in any of the, the check colors so if you want something different than blue just put it in the comment section and this one has the tan um, tattered and torn in it and I think that's a two yard piece so that's a great way to get some check um, on sale and get a smaller quantity than that three yard piece so I really hope you're thinking about that and that you understand what I'm saying okay so let's look over here this is probably the last round of sale for the patriotic stuff and for the train and this one oh, here on, let me focus I didn't get We've got a couple of different uh, train kits for you. This one here is called East Meets West. And this one I think we only have maybe like five kits for, and then it will be gone. And we've never had it on sale before. This Black Star is one of those limited quantities to where there's nothing on the shelf for you to buy. The only way you can get it is if you get it in one of these kits. So you get a big... Oh, multiple yards um, in your kit of the, the panel. You get the red um, element train. This track is a part of the panel. You get the block that you need. So in that kit, you have everything for the top. And I don't see a size on it, but um, I would guess that's uh, at least 50. It's probably 50 by 50 or 60 by 60, something like that. So... Um, and I'm, I'm, it's got your backing in there too and I'm sure you're binding it doesn't say it here on my, my uh, kit but I'm pretty sure those all go together in there just, just beautiful okay so this one here is called double star you can see how we've used the option three flying geese to make the star and this is the option one here and we just put those together we use the track in the middle and the hardest thing about this one is going to be to make sure that your tracks are all the same whether they're vertical horizontal or you can mix them all up it doesn't really matter and then we've also used the tracks for the the border I think your kit comes with backing and binding and everything and uh, there'll be limited quantities of this one because of that black star. And this one is called Double Star. That East meets West is 60 by 60. Okay. I figured it was probably about 60 by 60. Okay, this one is called Americana. Once again, we've used that uh, option three flying geese to make our star and just a strata of strips. And um, I think we only have about five kits for this one, and then it will be gone. So it is the end of quite a few of these here. And then this one here is called Union Star, and I don't want you to be scared to make this one with the Union Star. We've just used flying geese for our points here and some half square triangles, an option one in the middle, and I love, love, love how we've used the red for these set inside triangles. And um, it just kind of gives it an additional border look without the border um, work. And um, I think we maybe have about eight of this particular one. And then uh, these will all be gone. It's got the red star in it and the black, which makes them become um, on the extinction list <laughs> and uh, that they'll be gone very soon and then we've used the track on the back for this one so if you've wanted some of the train stuff and if you wanted some of these uh, patriotic ones now is the time to jump in there and do it I want to show you because this Americana one this Americana quilt is just so beautiful and you can do it in any size that you want and it's great to just use anything that you want so let's look at this one here on the table in this one here we've used a three inch star 
and in the pattern you're going to get a 3 inch all the way up to a 12 inch star. And then you just have your strata of strips. And I want you to look how this one is scrappy. The thing that makes this one so beautiful is that you have a good contrast between your background and your star and your background and your stripe. And as long as you keep your contrast strong, it's really a great one to put together. And you can use just about any fabrics you want. Now this one I made, oh, probably back in 09. It's our Abraham Lincoln fabric and our Pony Express fabric. So, you know, it makes a beautiful quilt. Um, it doesn't have to be patriotic fabric. I've made this little quilt, I don't know, maybe six, eight, ten times. I've made the big quilt probably 30 times with the six inch block, like the train one that you saw up on the wall. And it's just beautiful no matter what fabrics you use to put it together. Now I'm showing you this about how to use other fabrics because now I'm going to show you the vintage fabric that's on sale. I have not made a uh, Americana quilt out of it yet, but I want you to see what we have. So there were 20 different pieces of the vintage fabric, and we have 19. There's one of them that is sold out. And it was the lightest um, of our backgrounds, and it was a, um, uh, a real light tan. It was the lightest uh, of those. So let's look down here at our fabrics. Let's kind of go over them, and then I'll show you some quilts, and we'll start grouping them together. So, of course, all of our checks go nice with them, with all of them. So you could put any of these checks in with our vintage fabrics. You can even see how I have... Um, Americana is in what book? I'm sorry, Americana is not in a book. It's in uh, just a little individual uh, pattern called Americana. And it's got all those different sizes in there. So just put Americana up in the search and that pattern will pop up. Now, if you're getting one of the kits, it'll come with your kit that you can use. Okay. Okay. So, this one here is the one that we call bow tie, and it comes in the dirt, and it comes in the black with a red, and it comes in this one that is the, the orange with the black. And those are the bow tie ones. Then, in our um, kind of orangey colors, we have the bow tie, and we have this one that is called floral vine. Now, the floral vine came in the orange and the black, and this black looks great with red, pink, or purple, believe it or not, and great with any of those colors. And then our other floral vine was this one right here. And just a tiny little floral when you get up close you can see it and then we had the red and we have this one that is a mossy green brown now I want you to take special note of this one there's a quilt I'm going to show you in a minute that this little muddy piece is just over the top wonderful for so those are the vines there's four of those get three yards of more of one color and you can get those on sale and those are the bow ties. Now the next one is the um, flaming bud. So our flaming bud comes in the um, dirt so that means that little background color is dirt. This one comes in the black, see the black in the background and this one with the gold. Now all of our greens look great with any of those flaming buds. This background is, a, is called Sticks, and it looks great with it. Here is a black in the stick, and here is um, kind of a gold stick, a brown and gold stick. And you can see how all of those look great with any of these uh, flaming buds. And this one is the Green Star. It's um, not in this collection of the vintage, but it is on sale. And uh, you've seen it in the black and in the red, which are gone, but we still have a little bit of the green left. And I just think that that just looks great with all of it. Here you can see the green check. 
So any of these greens go with any of the fabrics, any of these vintage, any of our checks, um, any of these go together really well. Now this one is our uh, is a fuzzy leaf. So it's a leaf with it looks like a little fur or fuzz on it. Look how beautiful it is with that light one. Let me come down tight on it. You might have to move it. So you can see how, how nice those are together. Even just a little bit. Um, at retreat, we had one student who was putting a lot of these together like this in a homestead star, and it was just really beautiful. Those of you in Premium Club can go back in and look on the Facebook page and maybe see some of those. Okay, so those are the uh, flaming buds, and these are just really focus print fabrics that are just so pretty, and there's the other one, in just about anything that you want to do. So um, this summer, we have a lot of quilts and kits that we will show you in this, but the kits, I mean, this is our new fabric, so to get this at on a, on a sale or a discount is really amazing to do that. When we start showing you the kits this summer and the classes that we're going to teach, those will not be on sale. So this is the best time to take advantage and especially of these uh, checks and backgrounds that, and colors that you would use in just everything that you do. Okay, so we've talked about the uh, floral vine and five of those. We've talked about the sticks, so you've got the sticks in um, kind of a rusty red stick, the gold stick, the black stick, and then kind of the dirt. So those are the four for the stick. We've got the fuzzy vine. So we've got the green fuzzy vine, a red fuzzy vine, the yellowish light fuzzy vine, is that it on Fuzzy Vine? Just those three. Oh, here's the green stick. I thought there was five. So there's the sticks. There's five of those. And notice how that um, this goes with the bow tie. It goes with any of the uh, buds. It goes with the black. It goes with the brown floral. It goes with the bow tie. The red vine I really like with the bow tie. Like these, to these two together with the um, red vine, the black bow tie, and any of the, the backgrounds. This one is the floral vine. I think those are all really pretty together. And there's the, the stick. If the stick is just a little bit lighter, the floral is just a little bit more, more dirt or fleshy. But any of those look great together. Okay, so any questions about any of those fabrics, just holler. And remember, three yards or more, you can get it for $10 a yard. And um, I think when you go in and use the website and check out, does it, uh, you have to, does it give you the, the discounted price immediately? Okay. Yeah, when you choose it. Okay, so sometimes people see a half a yard on there first, right? Right, yeah. Yeah, and so that half a yard is marked like six whatever because you don't get the sell price until you get three yards and up. So lots of times people get confused because that very first one that shows up is a half a yard and, and it's going to be like six twenty nine or whatever on it. Okay, um, some, other, some other projects. Okay, so remember I showed you that mossy green kind of brownish one? You're thinking, oh, what am I going to do with that? Look at this beautiful quilt and it's just full of all of these fabrics like our vintage ones and that mossy green is going to be so pretty in the back. So any of these vintage fabrics, look how we've mixed the orange and the browns and the reds and the golds and look at some of these muddy colors here in the back. 
ground. Just my screen went off right here. Hang on just a minute. Can they still see? Probably not you. But they can, okay, there, the monitor's back. Man, we've got all kinds of issues today. Well. It wants to go on holiday. Let's see if I can get this back in position. I guess we've had a couple of weeks off from uh, filming, huh? From videoing so. in our lives. <laughs> oh, mercy. Okay, so let's look this one down here on the table. This is some of that beautiful black bud. This is the green stick, the black stick. Here are the red sticks together. And of course, we'd substitute this red and dirt in there, and it would look beautiful instead of the red and black. So here you can see how these are together. And this one is Mrs. Sewell's Star. This is just a block out of that. And um, it is in the Maley Women book. This one is in the uh, book one, the main reference book, and it is um, Ocean Waves. So you can see how we've just used all of them. And this one is the floral vine background. Just look how beautiful all of that is together. Just put together. Um, scrappy just really really pretty of course the red vine and the black vine so these are all of the vintage prints this one is from the book kisses from your beloved and I'm gonna hang it over here on this other one Steve so they can get a bigger picture of it So there's 12 blocks in the Kisses from Your Beloved. It's a book that you order individually. You can see the red and dirt check, the black stick, the red vine, um, the background, uh, the black bow tie, the red uh, fuzzy leaf. Um, just very, very pretty, just mixing all of the reds and blacks together of the collections from the checks to the vintage. Really a super, super pretty quilt. I really love the kisses from your beloved. Now this one, I have three quilts. They're exactly the same pattern. They're from the Diamonds book, which is uh, what we call volume two. And this is the original one that I did. It was just made from, um, like a fat quarter bundle from many years ago and it was just put together all scrappy you can see the red stars you can see the gold stars and then here is one that I did a couple of years ago and I used some of the train fabrics So not quite as scrappy on that particular one. And I love how these quilts teach and show, like with the star, the main star, the points go out. But the sashing and with the way that we reverse the colors of lights and darks and put the points in, then you get the four pointed star. So you get the four pointed star and the eight pointed star. These are both the same pattern but keep looking at those. And this is the new one out of the vintage. So let's look at this one. So in this one, it just looks totally different. The circles really show up on it, and anytime you use the diamonds, those circles are going to show up. So here we have the red stick. So write these down if you 
We will have these kitted later, later this summer, but they will be regular price. So get the fabric now, get the three yards or more, and you can get it at a discount. So this is the red stick. This is the black check. This is the dirt bow tie. So red stick, dirt bow tie, black flag, and then choose the background that you want. And uh, so basically just three colors and your background. And you've got this beautiful, beautiful quilt. I just think this one is just so stunning and just so elegant, distinguished, just beautiful. Just and the pattern's called? This one is called Postage Stamp Star and it is in the uh, Diamond Book, which we call Volume Two. And this one is just really a really simple quilt. It's out of the very first book, uh, volume one. And um, it's one that we always, uh, when we were doing shows all the time, I always had one of these in my booth. And when someone would come up and say, I'm just new to quilting, I'm new to square and a square, where do I get started? And this is always a great one to get started with. And a lot of times people come up to my booth and they're like, you have such great quilts for men, quilts that are more mascul masculine or quilts for, for boys. And this is a very simple pattern and very pretty to do. Just a uh, big plain square here, anything that you want to use as a focus print. And then this right here is option two. So we started out with our square in the middle. So strips around it one time, so strips around it two times and that makes that square. So a really fast, easy quilt. And as I'm looking at this on the screen and in the monitor, it's just really a very pretty quilt. You get this running through the quilt. You also get the red star in the quilt. And you can also just focus on the beauty of the piecing for the option two and just the plain square. So a really great quilt. And then of course I would go on out here and use the black for the binding and I would probably put the black um, on the back. Um, if you were giving it uh, to a male, I probably would put the red stick on the back. I would not, don't, I don't normally ever put light on the back, and I don't work with a lot of light on the, when I get out to the farther edges of the quilt. So these next two, this one here, you may have seen before, I've shown it, I've had it for a while, showing the vintage fabrics. This is the Curry Claw uh, block. It's in the first book. It's called Prairie Claw. And um, we've used two different greens, the fuzzy green, the stick green. We've used the dirt bud. We've used the black stick and we've used the yellow fuzzy leaf in here for the background. So really pretty quilt. It, you didn't have any Americana kits on sale or the Love only Americana kit that I have on sale is the train one. Um, we can look at it right here, and there's only a few of them left. Now, I will, I always have uh, quilts and kits with this train one, and I will have more um, with the vintage and with um, uh, even the new one, Paradise, that's coming, but we will show those later this summer but you can get your fabrics and make Americana easily. Right, get your fabrics and make Americana. It's very, very easy. Let's go back to this one. So you want to make sure that you have dark for your points and um, a medium dark in the center. Make sure you have a background with a good contrast. We've got some great backgrounds that you can use. And this is going to look great whether you use greens and blacks or, or whatever. I, like I said, I've probably have made 40 of these over the years, and I know hundreds have been made for Quilts of Valor and Wounded Warriors, and just in every color you can imagine. I've got one that's black and golds and oranges um, in my bedroom that is my most favorite one. I've got, uh, I just, one day I just need to do a video and show all of the different Americanas. Plus, I've given so many away and sold some over the years. Um, but it's just a pattern that I just go back to over and over again. It's easy to do. Anybody can do this. And um, there, if you love it, then you just need to jump in there and make it because it's fast and it's easy. 
Now this one is Soldier's Comfort. It's always um, one in our booth that we have as a go-to design. And it is an individual pattern on the website, is Soldier's Comfort. So once again, it has a big block here, so you pick a focus print for it. And then this is just, it's, it's a nine patch, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, but the sizes are, are different. Uh, usually a traditional nine patch, they're all the same. So this one we call Soldier's Comfort. We've used the Gold Bud. We've used the Red Fuzzy. I just love this little bit of Red Fuzzy in here. And then this is the uh, floral background, the green stick. So we've got one, two, three fabrics for the main part of our quilt, a little bit of a zinger in the border. So see, so you didn't need any of that red in here. You just needed a little bit here on the outside. And then we use this beautiful uh, gold bud. This quilt looks so vintage. I'm just, the fabric is reproduction. It is vintage. It's from the, the 1800s. Um, I found a quilt block that just had so many beautiful different pieces in it. And I didn't really do much changing on any of them when I created the vintage fabric collection, but the, the quilts just look so old and so vintage with that fabric. I'm really loving the way all of them have, have come out. Now, this next one is such a cute, I'm gonna say sassy little quilt. And it's, uh, well, well, let's just show it and then we'll talk about it. I love, 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 love this one. Now this is one that we're going to be, like I said, all of these that I'm showing you, uh, we will have kitted up later, but they will be at regular price. So it's best to get that fabric now and um, get the three yards or more. You'll have plenty for any of these that you're working on. This one, we I wanted a really simple, cute little quilt that we could make that would be great for fall. Not just Thanksgiving, not just end of October, but something that we could use September, October, November, December, and just be a beautiful little fall quilt that you could use on the back of your couch or just, you know, anywhere. So I love the Road to Nowhere pattern. The Road to Nowhere pattern is just really simple. It's a four patch, it's a plain square, and then we had a split rail in it, which is like three rectangles. So we took out the, um, so Sherry made this one for me. Those of you in Premium Club, may have seen this on the Premium Club Facebook page. So, uh, and it, um, well, I'll tell about the fabrics here in just a minute. So we were using Road to Nowhere. We did the four patch, we had the plain squares, but instead of the split rails in there, I told her, I said, let's do some stars. Not, not make every star, but let's just go in there and throw some stars in there just kind of randomly. Then, we were working on the spring semester for Premium Club, and in the quilt we had some birds, and Sherry made her birds as crows by putting the little feet on them and making them all black. And I was like, that's perfect. Let's put a couple of little crows in there. We had thought about just putting them in the corners and making four, but we went. they were so cute, we wound up putting a little bit more in there. So, um, we alternate the big squares with this one that we call gold stick. This is the gold stick on the website. This is the dirt floral, and this is the orange bow tie. And then we've used the black flag. And you think, well, the flag? Well, the, the depth of the variation of that tone on tone, and it's cut up and put together for the, it just gives it a little bit of change of color that makes it look like the feathers on the bird. So it's really a perfect one to go in there. We've even used it on the corners, on the edges for the border here. And the flags are so faint, they don't just jump out at you and you think, oh, a flag on my bird quilt. Well, I guess he's a patriotic bird because he's got the black flag in there. So really a pretty quilt, black flag, orange bow tie, floral background, gold stick, Oh, oh. <laughs> they're all coming Disaster. down. Disaster. <laughs> there we go. And there is our 
our last little one of quilt that I wanted to show you. Now, I want to go back just real quick, and we're going to wrap this up. So if you have any questions, um, go ahead and get those in. Somebody me. likes the idea of the Americana quilts, um, a video on all of them. Yes, I think that'd be a great idea. Um, when I was saying that, I was like, that would be a great video to do. So we're going to look at this one. Okay, so let's look at the tools that you'll need. Now, these are not on um, sale, these items here, but I wanted you to see that quilt. That's kind of one that I'm working on with some hand stuff. So I think we have one pack of thread left, just one with the um, um, threads in it that I like to use for my applique. This is the starch brush, and you unscrew it Put your liquid starch down in there and then when you get ready to make your pieces and you need to do these starched edges then you can just paint that edge and press it over and it works it's wonderful here is a stiletto that you can use to help um, hold it when you're close to the iron so these are all things i use to do this and then here is the little heart uh, uh, paper piecing. So you have these, you put it down, you put the edges of your fabric over, used your starch brush and your iron, and see how it keeps those edges turned so you don't have to do a needle turn. And then this is the ultimate freezer paper. I don't need it to do this, but I'm, if I'm doing other applique and making my own um, papers instead of buying something that's already made like this, then I will need the ultimate freezer paper. And the thing that's a little bit different on this one is that it's thicker and you need that that thicker um, on there. Okay, so both of these are left sides of the heart. So I have to do one in a mirror image so they actually go together like that. And then you have your heart um, shape here that goes in the middle. But most, there's a, some of these in here. Let's see, these are vintage. These are just scraps from my stash. These are vintage. These are all vintage. Scrap from my stash. And these are all vintage. So these are great ways to use up your pieces. And looking at these colors in the monitor, are, they're just so beautiful. And these are going to go great on these darker vintage. I don't know if I can get to any of my pieces, but let's see what I would use. I would, could use any of these for my backgrounds. Now, of course, if I have it in my heart, I won't want to use it for my background, but I may not have this in every heart that I make. Um, but those would be great. Here is the gold stick. And then here, this is this mossy one right here. I just can't wait to use this one as my background and put my hearts on it. It's just going to be so, so pretty when I do that. And when you look up here at the quilt, you can see how you've got checks, uh, kind of a, kind of a, almost a homespunny fabric here, and then all of these that are kind of black, and then the, the these um, kind of weird green, which are these weird greenish brown ones were um, actually kind of from what they called a butternut or a walnut uh, dye that they used back in the 1800s, and I just really, really love um, all of those. So, um, um, on that that heart mm -hmm. um, that you're showing, is that one that we have? This yes, yes. you can you and can get this called? on the website. It's called chrysanthemum heart, chrysanthemum heart, and we have a uh, I think two other. Um, packets that have different designs in them, uh, but the one that I'm using is this. Now, I want to show you one more thing. So what on this next one that I'm working on, I'm going to be doing my hearts on my rectangles, just like you saw in the quilt up there, but I want to show you what I'm doing, what I will do in the border. And as I get my quilt going more, we'll do videos on it. I've just kind of shown bits and pieces, but like for the border, for my quilt. I'm going to put two halves together 
to make my border that will go around my heart. And look how great these would be to go around corners. You don't have to do them in the whole border. Maybe just put three together and do them in all four corners or two of the corners. But I think those would be really pretty going um, around for the borders. So that's pretty much all that I had to show you guys today. I just wanted to let you know that these fabrics are on sale to give you more ideas of how they work in the quilts and how to blend them together. And uh, to let you know to get these fabrics now while they're on sale because when I do my kits for my vintage stuff that I've shown you, it will be regular price. And we'll start teaching um, probably towards the end of June uh, would be the earliest to maybe mid-July. We'll start teaching in there somewhere and we'll start teaching um, summer classes on these different uh, quilts and kits. We have Gold Rush uh, that I didn't show you today and then all of these that we've we've shown you. Now I want to do we have some questions and then I well, want to... Um, this one behind you, mm -hmm. is that elongated? This is that one, the same? They're a little bit different. This one is probably 25 years old. Okay. And I don't know what brand, I don't know what, what uh, pattern or anything, but this is the closest that we can get now. And it's a little fatter. It's going to be a little fatter. So when it goes up there... Well, now I guess the width is going to be the same. It just doesn't go down quite so much. So not so it's much. Not so elongated. Not so much of a rectangle. Circle. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Now you can draw your own out and do it if you want, but it, these are called? really great. This one is chrysanthemum heart. I thought we had one called elongated. Something. No. Nope. Well, the the other one that we have is kind of a oval. Oh, it's. And a, then we have the one that is um, um, like this. We have this one that makes this little circle. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. And then we have um, elongated one and then this one. Those are the only three we have. Okay. And I haven't done anything with that little elongated one. Um, it's kind of like that Florentine, kind of like a Florentine type design. You can see it on the website. Okay. All right, so um, I'm going to tell them about Paradise, the new fabric that's coming. I'm not going to show them, but I'm going to okay. tell them and give them a little bit about what we're going to do. But do we have any other questions before? Mm -hmm. Okay. So we really wanted to get all this vintage stuff to you guys, <clears throat> show you the stuff, and then we'll start teaching um, summer classes on the, the different quilts. Some of these that I've shown, plus a few others. Then um, our brand new, new, new fabric. Um, we're going to have it probably in a couple of weeks. We've already gotten a little bit of it, and we've started making sample quilts. Now, I really want the Paradise stuff to be for Quilt Club Week, which is the last week of September. So those of you that are Premium Club, then that's a part of your package. You can go to the website if you're not Premium Club, and if you're not Quilt Club Week, you can get details and prices and sign up and all of that. Send any emails. and. Um, if you sign up for Premium Club, Quilt Club Week is a part. You can sign up for Quilt Club Week now, and while you're waiting for the new stuff, the last week of September, you can go back in and watch 2020, 2021, and 2023. So many classes, ideas. Quilt Club Week is like an online quilt show. It has classes, it has lectures, it has little demos, it has quick tips, it has ideas. It's just a way to help get you motivated, just like a quilt show would do. And um, so our new stuff uh, for Quilt Club Week 2023 will be the last week of September. So our new Paradise fabric, we always try to have a fabric collection that is special during Quilt Club Week, and usually we get it and you get the fabric after Quilt Club Week. But we've worked really hard this year to get the new Paradise fabric here early so that you can have it before Quilt Club Week starts. So when we get ready to show you the fabric, which will probably be the end of July into August, we will show you the fabric and we will already have some quilts made up for it. Um, Kay and Kathy are working on quilts. Sherry has fabric. She's working on quilts. She's not going to be showing anything. No one's going to be showing anything on Facebook until we're ready. Now, the fabrics are colors, are colors. They're still the deep, rich colors of the 1800s, but they're colors that we've never used before. 
Uh, some of our lights will work with the new stuff and some of our checks. I think I pointed those out as we were going through, but um, it's, it's so totally different than anything that you normally see me do. It's just really crazy. Now, those that were at Quilt Retreat got a sneak peek of just some little pieces of fabric that I had there, and they were just like, oh my gosh, Jody, this doesn't look like you at all. Um, it's... Um, and they can't tell you anything about it either. They, they were not allowed to take any pictures and they're not allowed to say anything on Facebook about it. They can say, oh, it's wonderful, or I can't wait to get it, or stuff like that, but they can't tell you anything about the designs or the, the colors. Uh, they have to be a little bit more generic if they, if they say something or comment on it. Um, but um, So as we get deeper into summer, you're gonna, we're going to have a, um, promotion on it just like we normally do so that you can get it before quilt club week so that when we start teaching the classes in quilt club week you'll have your fabric right then and ready to go so we're working hard to get all that organized and we'll let you know about it and that's one reason why we wanted to do the vintage fabric now is do it now so that you can get stocked up on it and get ready to go and see what you want to do because we will be using uh, vintage fabrics during quilt club week also so um and then of course the classes we're teaching this summer now um last usually on quilt club week it actually starts on a wednesday night we call that early bird but we start on like sunday monday tuesday teaching classes to the general masses just like this video is to the general masses to get them uh, revved up and notified and excited and motivated and enthused and all of that to be a part of Quilt Club Week. And so a lot of these patriotic quilts were taught uh, that first week of October last year and they were that Sunday, Monday, Tuesday classes were open to the public. So you can go back in, anybody can go back in and watch those that we had. If you're new to Square to Square, we have a lot of free webinars that you can go in and watch, just like this one was a free one. This was um, promotional. You know, we were doing more selling than teaching, but when we're teaching uh, a quilt, it's just, it's just the teaching and what you need uh, to know about that quilt and in the making of it. Um, we're all about education. We're all about giving you more speed, more accuracy, giving you tips and hints. Um, we do the science of patchwork, we do the square and a square, we do overcutting and all of those things and the pressing. Once you learn how to do those, it really ups your game and sets you up for success. Text and email after text and after email for multiple years over and over again, people say, I have been quilting for 20 years, 30 years, whatever. Um, and just in the six months or year or however long, six weeks, whatever they've been doing with us, they're like, we have learned more and improved than we have over all of the, those years and over that time. So I really think not only will you become a better piecer and a better quilter, that you'll have more fun because your work is going together smoothly and accurately. One of my little mottos is, is that you can become the piecer that you've always dreamed of. And that's what we're here to do is to educate you and to help you get your mojo back. I can't tell you how many times I see on other Facebook pages and, and uh, forums where people are like, I've lost my mojo, I've lost my mojo. You know, how do I want to quilt, but I just don't have the desire to do it. How do I get back into doing it? And, and just following us and staying with us will help you do that. And um, let's see, it seems like there was something else I was going to tell you and I've kind of blanked out on it so any last minute questions or thoughts or anything so get the get the vintage fabric now so that when the new paradise fabric comes you'll be set up and ready to go with it we had thought about doing all of it all at once but that's too much for you guys that's too much for us with shipping and cutting and everything so we're we're breaking it out giving you plenty of time um, and um, pocketbook time so that you can get in there and get your fabrics and be ready to go for this fall and for the classes that we're going to have this summer. So hopefully um, everyone understands and if you have any questions just uh, send them on the text or through email and we'll um, get your information back to you just as soon as we can. Sorry about our uh, delay and malfunctions um, with sound and 
in I'll, the, I'll put them together. But Steve will put them together and repost them up so you won't have that. I think it was like a 10 minute delay or something. Um, thanks for sticking with us and thanks for watching and thanks for using the square and square and we'll see you real soon. Have a great summer and a great Memorial Weekend.